Alright guys, what's going on? T-Mart here, and we are starting yet another Let's Play over here on T-Mart 2. This is gonna be a full walkthrough of Assassin's Creed 3. Hold on a second! That was my intro from the original Assassin's Creed 3 game back in October of 2012. And now here we are, nearly seven years later, about to embark on the same epic journey. What's up guys, and welcome to Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. I'm actually pretty excited about this. So this came out the other day and I've been thinking about it and I figured it was worth a shot. We'll see what happens. You guys know I love the Assassin's Creed series and uh, they've been remastering some of the games game by game now and, and I've thought about going back and replaying them. The thing is, is it is the same game. Like, yeah, it's been remastered, it looks better, but it's the same game. So I, I didn't know if there was any demand for it, if people wanted to see it. So let me know, let me know what you guys think. We'll upload a few episodes of this series and if there are views and likes and comments and support and that sort of thing, then uh, then we can definitely keep on going all the way through. But uh, let's get it, man. This was, I mean, I, I don't fully remember all of them all the way through. I've only played them once each, and honestly, sometimes I don't have the best memory. But uh, I think this was one of the better ones. Used to be when people talked Here about we go. the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do. And the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know. That ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. When it does. Man! They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name, is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Whoo! All right, here we go. So this is the end of the first, like, original trilogy. It makes me wish we would have played the first two first. But if you guys enjoy this, we'll go back and we'll play the first and the second one. This looks good, though. Sometimes remasters are kind of eh, but this looks pretty good. All right, here we go, fellas. The very start, chapter one. 
Let's get in that animus. We're here. Let's go. Nothing like working out of a random cave in the middle of nowhere. That's the true Assassin's Creed way. I miss Desmond. We haven't seen him in a long, long, long time. Some graffiti people have been hanging out here. The apple. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. <laughs> well, this isn't creepy at all. An old temple built by precursors? Who knows how many thousands of years ago? I think we're here. Go ahead and hop down in there, man. No second thoughts. This is intense. I really, dude, we should have, we should have played the first two before, but that's all right. Like I said, if you guys enjoy this, if this series gets a lot of love, I, th I think it would be cool to go back. I know Assassin's Creed 2 has been remastered. I don't know if one has. Maybe they both have, I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. Coming alive! triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Dude, this... Imagine being stuck in a place like this. Just like white okay, nothingness, Desmond, just forever we walking. We were uh, visiting Constantinople. We picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. Okay. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. All right. Green icon designates a destination. Sounds good. R2 to run. Easy enough. Run and climb together. Looks good to me. Hey Desmond, let's practice climbing on these objects. Easy enough. Got her done. Dude, these games were so good even back in the day. Seriously. It's crazy to think that this was... This is nearly a decade old. And these were still... I mean, they're comparable to what, what we have today. You know what I mean? Obviously, there's a lot more going on with, like, perks and... The, the RPG aspect of it, but... Free run your way through this little obstacle course. It's just cool, man. These have been these have been so solid throughout the years. Nice job. Get up top That's here. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Okay. Air assassination, baby. Good night. Welcome to the revolution, son. Get across here. All Got you him. have to do here is jump the gap. Um, how did you want me to do that? Climb up. Jump across. Jump across. Jump across. We made it. Ish. Did we make it? Nope. Still over here. What in the world is going on? What marker does it want us to jump to? The marker keeps moving. We made it. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Dude, this is so crazy. Look at this. The Animus is building the world. What is this, like 18th century? Right? That was the uh, revolution. It kind of takes place a little bit before, during, and a little bit after, I think. Sir. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. All right. Sounds good to me. Thank you, sir. Let's, uh... Let's get after it. Our first mission, boys. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Dude, this looks so good. Go back and watch that other video that I used for the intro. You are requested to kindly find your seats. Man, this is significantly better. I guess that's kind of the point. It's not... Still not quite to the point of a, a modern game, but it's good. Nothing like a good old theater production, huh, boys? Evening, Haytham. 
Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Press L3 to trigger Eagle Vision. Looks like he's up there. Is that our target? Up there in the box seats? He you must be rich. The, boxes above. the stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. Mm. I already have. Well, sorry, I gotta get up. Um, bathroom break. Drank one too many ales before coming here. My apologies. Alright. Head over this way. Looks like we've got a nice little, uh... Nice little, what's it called? Construction ladder or whatever, I don't even know. As if nobody would see me like this, dude, what? <laughs> Some crazy dude just scaling the, the box seats. I don't even know what to call them. Maybe the, the patrons are enjoying the show just that much that they wouldn't see us. This guy's even standing up. He'd be looking us right in the face, dude. Alright. We made it. Got a back way to the stage here. Pick the lock. Ooh, okay. I like it. That's pretty cool. I don't remember breaking locks in this game. Yeah, dude, that's the thing is it's it's been so long and played so many games, even Assassin's Creed games since then. Like this is still gonna be pretty much new to me. We're good. Backstage, baby. Wait till they see the uh, the performance we're about to put on. Did we cross here. Jeremy's really burning up the boards tonight. He's a mob. Sorry, boys. Don't want to uh, to interrupt your presentation here, so we're just gonna get out of here. Hello, good sir. It's a shame you don't have more friends. This wouldn't happen to you. Hey, Phil. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Are they going back up to his box? Otherwise, I mean, if they are, we might be in trouble. All right, let's get out of here. Gotta go. Gotta go right now. Dude, that was that was pretty cool. Yep. Come, please. They found the body. They don't know who did it, though. I beg your pardon. 
Did you notice anyone? They fight each other. Patience, please. That's an order. Order. We're gonna be okay. Just act normal. Act normal. Worst case scenario, we can free run our way out of here. Excuse me, sir. Do this one. I mean, everybody seems to be freaking out. We should be fine. I would, I would kind of be hustling a little bit more than hate them is, but that's just me. I also probably wouldn't have taken such a long roundabout way home. All right. I think we're good. Let me through. I can't get through. There we go. Whew. Carriage waiting outside. We're good to go. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bride. By your command. That's a piece of Eden, right? Fascinating. There's something Gentlemen, important. I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon or something as yet unknown unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair are your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. That's quite the list of I names knew our there. Our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham. And bring honor to us all. All right. Sounds good to me. I think we could do that. Dude, I'm, I'm excited. I missed this game. This, this series. This is good stuff. Now, this would be sketchy. I love being on cruise ships, but I, I don't know about being on an old wooden sailboat across the Atlantic Ocean. This is a little scary. You imagine how rocky it would be, how long you'd be out there. How long did it take? I don't know. Like months? At least weeks, if not months. Some fresh air might do me good. What's up, fellas? I mean, I guess if you had rum, it wouldn't be so bad. These guys are all just drinking. All right. See what we've got going on up here. A little social gathering. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Oh, no, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. <laughs> you might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> 
so I thought. And yet here you are. Woo! Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. I'm down for it. I'm down for a little fight. Hold circle before the indicator. Nice. Just haymaker him. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, fellas, call this off. If the captain to sees us. To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. Who signed you on anyway? There's no reason to be mad at us, man. Press circle to counter and then press square to knock him out. Oh! We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. I mean, I'm... I'm down for it, brother. Whatever you want. You aren't even... Oh, my gosh. Do you? Never! <clears throat> okay, that's kind of a cheap... Sh oh, he's got a knife. These odds. Okay. Got him! Yes, sir! Oh, that was nice. Of this. Captain, explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Hate them's oh, a boss. I forgot. There's your knife back. <laughs> I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Dang! Tell him how it is, huh? Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well? What will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Yeah, thank you. Don't really have a choice. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? <laughs> Excellent. Trinket his beer. <laughs> Good day. He looked like a scared puppy. Oh man, that's great. So we're gonna have to put an end to this uh, potential mutiny here. Day 28, I guess we're gonna get answers to how long this takes. Bro, what would you do for 28 days? <sighs> Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I best get to work. All right, let's go investigate the crew, see what we got going on. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not proven. You're not having second thoughts, are you? It's not right. I'm not with me. Yeah, it sounds like they're planning something here. What's going on, brother? You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Fair enough. Got the cook or the doctor. Let's go this way. Dude, there's not even any women on the ship. Seriously, what would you do for a month? 
Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. Appreciate you, good sir. The one sitting on the barrel over here? Ah. Are you James? Aye. Haytham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. So it sounds like the captain's hunch is spot on. Colin is alive. I'm gonna do my best to make sure that happens, buddy. All right, so we're gonna go look for clues at the stern. They've been gathering up here on the upper deck. Might be something to help point us in the right direction. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet, just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? They're dumping so barrels? cargo overboard. But why? Investigate the noise on the lower deck. Uh-oh. I thought that was going to be bodies, dude. Thought we were going to see the captain just floating down there. Let's head down. Should be back in the back right. Is there a second... A second set of stairs or something? No? What's going on here? Sugar? Are they leading somebody to us? Curious. Like a, a trail of breadcrumbs? Most curious. I don't know what's going on here, boys. Day 33, about a week later. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it... Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! No way! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? 
Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted? Sir, yes, sir. Whatever. <laughs> Don't want me to help. I'll go sit downstairs. Secure the hatch! Hey, Tim. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? <gasps> that we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? No way! Ah. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? I mean, at least he's honorable, right? Dude, this is crazy. Here we go, boys. Sword fight inbound. Nice job. Whoo, knocked the sword right out of his hand. Let's go. Keep going after him. He's got no defenses. Break his defense and then just keep, oh, what does he have? Break his defense, nice. Hit him again. Break his defense. One more. Nice. Knocked him right over. Got him. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny, only him. What do they want? Me. Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. <sighs> then I will. All right. All right. Dude. This is, this is crazy. Later that day, heading into some sort of a giant storm, hurricane, whatever. There's no way. We need those ropes secured. I told you this was bad. On yourself. I'll fix your sail for you. Time to put this, uh, decades of, of experience to work here, boys. Of being an assassin, climbing these ropes. Do what we gotta do. That one's secured. Looks like we're gonna have another one up here. That ship's still following us. Got it. Looks like another one just broke. That's not good. Here we go. Keep up the good work, boys. Y'all got this. Gotta go loose these sails. Oh my goodness, dude. Could you imagine? I would be so scared. <laughs> wow. Look at the size of that wave. Are you serious right now? We made it. Whew. 
Oh, dude, you fall and you are gonna have one of the slowest, most painful deaths. Just baking in the sun as you float along in the waves, never to be found. No way! We're gonna go save him. Come on! I got you, James! Thank you. Thank you. Looks like we lost those fellas too. They're turning around. Oh no, they capsized. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Day 72. It's been two months. A little over two months. Seagulls, we're close to land. We made it, boys. Dude, that's exciting. Meet the cat at the bow. Make ready for our arrival, men. Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Dude, that's, it, it's, one thing that always makes me sad when we go on cruises is sometimes we'll be like way out at sea, like when we leave Florida and we go out to sea, you'll see the, the birds that have come with the ship and there's no way they can make it back to land. I mean, they'll, they'll make it to land wherever we end up docking, but it's like they'll never get back to their homes. I always think about that. Seems like that's been happening for a long time too, huh? Even back here in the 18th century. Let's go, boys! Mission complete, looks good to me. Got 175 out of 175 points, full synchronization. And I think that's a good spot to stop this first episode. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.